Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 and I have an update. Um, it may look exactly like it did before, but if I get a little bit of a closer shot of this board, you can see that it now completely fits in. I have to shave a, just a hair's width off just so that um, it doesn't interfere with the uh, flange on the top case, which it's rubbing against right now, but it will fit in the entire case. I um, Remove the material so I can keep the original screw post, which I could have done without, but they're already there, and they're nice and convenient, so whatever. And so, two things. The video amplifier circuitry, which is um, this guy right in here, I had to relocate via these wires. Unfortunately, there's not really much of a way around there. I'm going to wrap them around to the back and tape them to the bottom side of the... Uh, of the PCB out of the way and once I get this more permanently wired up instead of a little cheap magnet wire in there and these three capacitors are for the audio circuitry and they're required I removed everything that wasn't really required that didn't really they were just decoupling localized decoupling and it's fine without them but I want to show you guys that after all this modification and oh my god how many jumper wires did I have to put in so after all that it is actually just slightly smaller than an SNES cartridge and able to fit in the case. And I'm ecstatic because for about two or three hours, I uh, cut off the audio uh, cap portion and it stopped making sound, like it stopped outputting any sound. And that kind of freaked me out. But um, by analyzing the circuitry and using my uh, second uh, Retro Duo in order to reverse engineer the, the schematic, basically, I figured out I forgot to hook up the ground and the power supply rail for the audio output amplifier. So, duh. But anyway, now that I got all that back together and working, I just have to plug in a cartridge. Hit power. Audio works, thank God. <laughs> I was pulling out my hair practically. And video looks pretty good. It all works. And there we go. Thank God. I thought I was going to go crazy. But anywho, it's just a matter of me now. Let me turn that off. Remove this cart slot. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of me. I got a uh, desoldering gun. And so, of removing this cart slot and relocating all the wires using IDE ribbon cables uh, in order to relocate each and every damn pin on there. So, I'm going to leave that till tomorrow because I actually have to work tonight, unfortunately. That's how I pay for this stuff. So, anywho, I'll work. Uh, uncooperatively but anyway um, at least I know I'll be happy in, in knowing that everything is still fully functional and that um, audio works video works um, I just need to slightly trim down the board and that's it. I did so much wiring at the top I could take off a little tiny bit at the top but I did so much wiring already I would need to remove that wiring, then trim it down slightly, and then resolder all that. I'd just rather not deal with it, honestly. So, for the meanwhile, I'm just going to see if I can trim down this bottom just ever so slightly. Either that, or I could actually remove just a tad bit on this inner lip so that I can um, actually get this thing to fit perfectly in the case. This is a top half. It's actually going to sit in the bottom half, something like this. Um, but as I said, there's that, well, this cable's in the way right now, and there's a little tiny bit that I need to remove on the bottom, maybe the top, but I'll figure that out for another day. I have a big enough migraine already. But, um, yeah, so definitely some progress. Some progress. But anywho, um... Yeah, so that's pretty much it, and that's what I've been up to, and pretty happy about that. 
So, I guess that's enough of me rambling. If uh, you like these videos, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm no expert at trimming Retro Duo motherboards, but I think I've learned quite a number of things from this uh, exercise, and um, I'd be happy to share them with you guys. Um, after I get this all done, I'll do a, uh, a video of it working and me playing a game portably, running off battery power and whatnot, and show the features off. Um, but until then, I'll keep chugging along and I'll keep making these update videos, so I shall see you guys later. Bye-bye.